Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Chosen One with two guns repping that EMZ bitch TV. First thing first, make sure y'all smash that sub button. Now, check it, check it, check it. Today we got Junior Guzman Feliz, R.I.P. This is the young, the young boy that got um, that got his life taken away last year. Uh, for those who don't know, this is a kid from New York. He was a good kid from what I heard. Wasn't into no gang, wasn't into anything. He was all to himself. He had a beautiful mother that loved him. He had a family that loved him. Everybody loved him. He was just a he was just a good kid, a regular kid, and he got caught in the midst of some rival gang stuff that ain't even had nothing to do with him. This is basically a a, a case of like a mistake, mistaken identity kind of kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, R.I.P. that that kid, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's bad what happened to him, man. But uh, but with that note, I have an update of what's been going on. Cause a, a, a lot of the family, the EMZ family, they were telling me to do an update about the whole Junior thing. So here it is. Now, um, what I'm gonna do first is that I'm gonna read to y'all what what I got from the report, and then you know I'll give my little my little opinion in the matter. Belmont, the Bronx District Attorney revealed the conditions for a Kelvin Alvarez plea deal Tuesday in the trial against the men accused in the slaying of Belmont teen, Zandra Jr. Galiz, um, Guzman Feliz. Now, for those who don't know, Kelvin Alvarez is one of the guys, right, that was in the attack. He was actually the one who dragged Jr. out of the store. They only took one person to do that. He was the one who actually dragged him. Now, before I continue, in the beginning, when they first went to him, he lied and said that he wasn't a part of the gang. Then he ended up remixing his story and says he is a part of the gang. Then they said, they asked him, did you know that they was going to do what they did to him? He said, no, he didn't know that. That they, He just thought they was going to give him a spanking. He didn't know they was going to do what they did. Then they asked him, did you know that they had weapons? He said, yeah, I knew that they had weapons, but I didn't know that they was going to use him, use the weapons on him. This is what he said. Now, says here, Alvarez, admitted, admitted member of the Trinitarios gang, is charged with second degree murder along with eight other men. Five are currently on trial for first degree murder. He's testified Monday that he was following orders given to him by the gang members the night Junior was life was taken away. He also said that he heard the teen say he was not part of the rival gang. Damn, that hurts. You know what that is for that kid to be like, yo, leave me alone. I have nothing to do with this. I'm not in no gang. And them just continue to do what they did that day. God, man, that was a sad thing, man. So um, let me read the rest of y'all real quick. Alvarez pleaded guilty last month to manslaughter and conspiracy charges in exchange for his testimony. The district attorney also said that he is expected, expected to be sentenced to time served for conspiracy if he tells truthful testimony in the current trial against five accused of first degree murder and suspects charged with second degree murder. Basically, basically what they're saying here is that Alvarez is going to testify against five guys. Meaning, he's going to tell on those five guys. He's going to say whatever he's going to say, but he's going to tell on those five guys. Right? That's what they're saying so far, right? Okay. Then it says here, this is in a quote. If you, do, if you do something as bad as snitch, they go out and look for you in groups until they find you and kill you. He said on the stand. This is what he said in the stand. Alvarez is now in protected custody. He is expected to be cross-examined on Thursday. Basically, since he's going to be telling on these five guys, now the court, the jail system has to protect him because if they leave him in general population, general population is when they leave you out with everybody. You're, you're around with everybody. They don't put you in a cell by yourself. You get to come out and you're around other people with other charges but since he is about to tell he can't be around all these people because they might do something to him obviously he is going to tell so he is put in protective custody for 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 his own safety and so they can make sure he will be alive when the time comes 
when they're going to need him to tell on other five guys. Because by him telling on those five guys, right, they're going to have enough proof and evidence to get these guys um, to get these guys guilty so they won't be able to walk out of this. They'll, they'll have a guaranteed guilty verdict from the help of Alvarez if he does this. So by him helping out the cops, the cops tell him, like, look, you help us out. We'll get you out of this, you know? So let me read the rest. Okay. Prosecutor Morgan Dolan says she has about 20 more witnesses to get through, including medical examiner. Upon leaving the courtroom, Junior's mother had gone into a heated exchange with two women who she said believed to be the relatives of the defendant. That's another thing. After this whole thing happened, the mothers of two of the guys that was in court that day was talking mad smack to Junior's mother, saying, we're going to do this to you. You better blah, 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 threatening her, talking a bunch of stuff, saying they're going to beat her up. These women are mad. At the end of the day, their sons had something to do with the slaying of this kid. Why are you going to get mad at the mother for being there? Because she lost her son. Okay, your son is about to do their whole life in jail. Okay, but what did they do? They took a life of a kid that didn't have nothing to do with nothing. Your kids was in the gang. Your kids did all this stuff. She's only a mother. She has the right. Can you let her mourn in peace? No, these got to be some ghetto-ass mothers over here talking smack to this lady while she's still mourning the death of her son. That's crazy, y'all. That's crazy, and that's sad, too. And uh, let me see. Yeah, that's basically it, man. That's basically it. So, yeah, there you have it, y'all. That's the update. So, the new information that we got now is that dude Alvarez is going to te testify on five of them. And he's going to get off with time served. Which means when the day comes and he fully testifies, after that day is over with, he will get to walk out of jail with no more time to do. But check it. Here's, 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 here's the thing to that. For the rest of his life, he would have to hide. For the rest of his life, he will be in protective custody. Him, his mother, his father, his brother, his sister, his aunt, his uncle, nieces, nephews, whoever. They will have to hide for the rest of their life. This is the repercussions that happens when you tell on other people. Especially if you had something to do with it. Like you really yanked this kid out of the store. Like you on video pulling that kid junior out of the store. Literally dragging him out of the store. You could see the video clearly. When he was dragging him out of the store. You see junior grab his two hands to the edge of the door. Telling him no leave me alone. I am not part of a gang. You guys don't got me effed up like this is not me. What is you guys doing? He was confused, man, as he should. He's a damn kid, bro. He's a kid. He's a teenager, bro. He don't got nothing to do with nothing. You feel me? He was confused. He didn't know what was going on. All he knew that these guys was trying to kill him and beat him up. Just all he knows. So the guy who dragged Junior is the one who's about to tell on the other five guys. Which means that once he does this, the other five guys will be guilty and will get smacked. With at least 30 plus years. Easy. And this guy will have will walk away out of this. With what? With time served. And uh, of charge of manslaughter. So basically his record is going to be messed up for the rest of his life. But you think he cares about that? He's going to get to walk out of this. You know what I'm saying? He Basically he's going to be locked up for like maybe a few more months. Until that day comes when he has to do this. After he does what they want him to do. At the end of that night, they're going to let him go. I don't know what time, but he will be let go if he continues to do what they want him to do. And he's going to do it because he's already in protective custody, which means everything is on the go. Everything is working. Everything is going on exactly how the cops wanted it. They wanted one of these guys to break down and crack. And that was Alvarez. Alvarez was the first one to crack. You know what I'm saying? First he said he wasn't in the gang. Now he's saying that he is in the gang. First he said that he didn't know this and this and that. Then he's saying that he did know that they was going to beat him up. But they did that he didn't know that they was going to do what he did to them. So basically he got caught lying. You can't be lying to the Jakes because that's a whole other offense. And when you get caught lying, you basically look guilty. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's the update y'all and also the reason why junior's mother spazzed out in court a lot of people was a lot of people don't know but the real reason why she spazzed out in court was because they showed the video of that day and they showed the part when um when the, the the store owner right actually opened the door the side of the door to let that guy alvarez grab junior and yank him out of the store this when she saw that clip that's what made her start blacking out and wilding out her blood pressure went up and she started spazzing is that wrong my mother would have done the same thing somebody come take my life away she goes to court they show her the video she probably never got to see that part maybe she probably, that probably her first time seeing that whole thing. You don't know that. My mother would have blacked out too. If that would have been my kid, I would have blacked out too. I would have been mad. Listen, first of all, if I was in that court, I would have been smacking them. I would have been smacking all, they would have had to get me out of there. Because I would have been, I would have been trying to choke all of them. You feel me? That would have been me. But I'm saying, this is a mother. So her, her blood pressure went up. You know, she's a mom, man. She's a grieving mom, man. Can you let her grieve in peace, man? Then on top of that, you got the mother of the of the suspects over here blacking out on her, call, call, calling her names, saying they want to fight her and all of this because she's against your sons, your kids that ended up killing another kid for no damn reason at all. Remember, this is for no reason. So basically, this is this is the update, man. I will continue on on this, you know. Shout out to the EMZ family. They said they wanted me to do this, so I'm, I did it. You know what I'm saying? I will continue to follow up on this case until this is completely over. So just so y'all know, Alvarez is going to be so far the only one telling on these guys. And that's going to guarantee five convictions. You feel me? But the mother's going to be upset because Alvarez is going to walk out of this. Time served. But he will hide for the rest of his life. He will hide. It is what it is, y'all. EMZ 100. Hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hope y'all liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Smash that like button and drop them comments. Also, for those who want to show love and support the EMZ TV, just Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo located in the description box in every video. Chosen one, two guns, EMZ. Don't forget the TV 100.